as you know, we have developed uh, pharmaceuticals and uh, photoactivation to strengthen the cornea. As you can see in this uh, video, uh, eye drops are applied on the cornea and UV light strengthens the cornea, so this is not a surgical procedure and there are no implants involved. Uh, collagen cross-linking causes a strengthening of the cornea and also reshaping of the cornea. There are two major applications for our products. One is for a corneal disease and one is for refractive. As far as the corneal disease is concerned, we received the first and only FDA approval for keratoconus. Uh, the previous speaker uh, talked a few times about keratoconus, so our goal is to eliminate this. Uh, we launched the product last year, and uh, in one year there were 10,000 cases performed in the United States. We also have an approval for post-LASIK ectasia. At ASCRS OIS, I told you our goal in 2017 was to drive towards reimbursement and uh, expand the market for keratoconus and uh, refractive and also perform uh, clinical studies. Let me tell you where we are on those fronts. Shortly after we launched our product, patient and physicians uh, submitted claims to get reimbursed, and uh, main reason for that is keratoconus is a disease and it's not an elective procedure. If untreated, it could result in corneal transplant. One corneal transplant in the U.S. Uh, is, ranges anywhere from $13,000 to $27,000, $20,000, so it has to be treated. If you went on GoFundMe website and use the keyword keratoconus, you will see 700 patients are waiting to have access to this procedure. Uh, reimbursement has three parts into it. It's uh, coding, coverage, and payment. And I'm happy to say that we have been working with physicians and various societies to uh, expand the market and bring awareness for the benefits of this treatment. And it has resulted in a uh, growing number of carriers covering this procedure. At the beginning of the year, there was about three carriers covering this procedure. Today, there are 28 carriers and more than 85 million covered lives. So it's working and we are driving towards more carriers covering in and also establishing payment policy. Regarding expanding the market, we launched a new system uh, a month ago at ESCRS, the Mosaic system, which has four major benefits. Uh, it incorporates topography that allows customized and personalized treatment. The UV is programmable and uh, we can control cross-linking in the X, Y, and Z direction. And we have precise alignment by uh, incorporating an eye tracker and also we incorporated uh, oxygen in the treatment that results in better efficacy. So this product is available outside the United States. So let me show you where we have been used, using this. The first application was for customized cross-linking. Uh, in customized cross-linking, uh, you uh, cross-link the weakest point of the cornea, typically the apex. Uh, versus cross-linking the entire cornea in three separate studies uh, with, uh, in, in France, in Sweden, and uh, Switzerland, it was shown that customized cross-linking resulted in better results. As you can see in this uh, blue column, more flattening compared to regular cross-linking. The next clinical studies we conducted was in low myopia, typically patients under minus one and a half. At ASCRS, I showed that was the largest segment of myopia. There are about 27 million eyes between the minus 75 and minus one and a quarter. And in those surveys that I showed previously, these patients today are wearing glasses and contact lenses. And number one reason for not doing LASIK for them is fear of surgery. The second, uh, in, in these patients, uh, what we do is the cross-linking is done at the center of the cornea and it causes flattening. And we showed that in these patients, the one to one and a quarter diopter achieved is stable after six months. Um, the second group of uh, clinical studies we conducted is presbyopia. Everybody's familiar with presbyopia. It never gets old. Um, in the U.S., the patients B 
between in the 45 and 65 years old, and minus plus or minus one diopter, there are about 40 million patients uh, who can benefit from this procedure. In this case, what we do is we cross-link the mid-periphery uh, of the uh, cornea, and that results in uh, about one and a quarter diopter add uh, in these patients. I'm glad to say that uh, these clinical results in 2017 alone resulted in 37 peer uh, review uh, publications that was in cross-linking and various uh, uh, LASIK extra, SMILE extra, PRK extra, and also about 125 uh, podium pre presentation in 2017. On an ongoing uh, basis, our goal is to uh, uh, start a Epion study in the U.S., a phase four post-LASIK ectasia in the U.S., and also Epion pixel refractive studies in the U.S. Outside the U.S., we continue similar studies on customized cross-linking, on refractive, and also uh, various on low myopia and uh, presbyopia. Uh, please come to our booth. Uh, we can share more information with you, and our symposium is on Sunday morning at Teharas at 7 o'clock. Thank you very much. Thank you.